the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Thank you. Welcome, everyone, to our film mass. And we honor today the Ugandan martyrs, St. Charles Obanga and his companions. We ask God to give us the courage and the opportunity now to ask for his forgiveness of our sins as we have hurt one another. Jesus, you are the true light of the world. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Jesus, you are the hope of us sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are the salvation of the just. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who have made the blood of martyrs the seed of Christians, mercifully grant that the field which is your church, watered by the blood shed by St. Charles Lawanga and his companions, may be fertile and always yield you an abundant harvest. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. <clears throat> A reading from the beginning of the second letter of St. Paul to Timothy. Paul, an apostle of Christ Jesus, by the will of God, for the promise of life in Christ Jesus, to Timothy, my dear child, grace, mercy, and peace from God the Father and Jesus Christ our Lord. I am grateful to God, whom I worship with a clear conscience, as my ancestors did, as I remember you constantly in my prayers night and day. For this reason, I remind you to stir into flame the gift of God that you have, that you have through the imposition of my hands. For God did not give us a spirit of cowardice, but rather of power and love and self-control. So do not be ashamed of your testimony to our Lord, nor of me, a prisoner for your sake, <clears throat> but, hear your, but bear your share of hardship for the gospel with the strength that comes from God. He saved us and called us to a holy life, not according to our works, but according to his own design and the grace bestowed on us in Christ Jesus before time began, but now made manifest through the appearance of our Savior, Christ Jesus, who destroyed death and brought life and immortality to light through the gospel, for which I was appointed the preacher and apostle and teacher. <clears throat> and on this account, I am suffering these things, for, but I am not ashamed, for I know him in whom I have believed, and I am confident that he is able to guard what has been entrusted to me until that day. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. <clears throat> to you, O Lord, I lift up my eyes. To you, O Lord, I lift, I lift up, up my eyes. eyes. To you I lift up my eyes, who are enthroned in heaven. Behold, as the eyes of servants are on the hands of their masters. To, to you, O Lord, I lift, I lift up, up my eyes. eyes. As the eyes of a maid are on the hands of her mistress, so are our eyes on the Lord our God, till he have pity on us. To, to you, O Lord, Lord, I lift up my, up my eyes. eyes. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, Lord. Some Sadducees, who say there is no resurrection, came to Jesus and put this question to him, saying, Teacher, Moses wrote for us, if someone's brothers die, leaving their wife with no child, his brother must take the wife and raise up descendants for his brother. Now, there were seven brothers. The first married a woman and died, leaving no descendants. To the, so the second brother married her and died, leaving no descendants. And the third likewise. And the seven left no descendants. Last of all, the woman also died. At the resurrection, when they arise, whose wife will she be? For all seven 
had married her. Jesus said to them, You are misled, because you do not know the scriptures or the power of God. When they rise from the dead, they neither marry nor are given in marriage, but they are like the angels in heaven. And as for the dead being raised, have you not read in the book of Moses, in the passage about the bush, how God told them, I am the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob? He is not the God of the dead, but of the living. You are greatly misled. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise right. to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Today, very briefly, we'll focus on three avenues of uh, spiritual uh, growth and development. First of all, the celebration of, uh, or commemoration actually, of the, the death of the Ugandan martyrs. Secondly, the advice that Paul was given to Timothy, who was a young bishop at the time. And, of course, the words of Jesus in his confrontation with the Sadducees today in, in regarding the uh, issue of the resurrection. <clears throat> there was an opportunity for a priest, and he was uh, help uh, making some stands in, in the basement of the church with his parishioners, and he himself wanted to get into it, so he started, got up on a, on a ladder, and he started nailing some paneling to the wall and nearly, and a little boy comes by and priest sees him and says, hello Johnny, how are you? Good. You know, is there anything I can do for you? No. So he goes back and there, you know, Johnny's still there looking, watching at him. You have anything to say or no? He goes back and nearly. Finally he turns around and says, Johnny, what, what, what are you doing here then? He says, well, I'm just waiting to hear what a priest says when the hammer it's his tongue. Well, there'll be a lot of pain, and I'm sure there'll be some type of expression, but nothing compared to the uh, martyrdom of, of St. Uh, Luanga and, and all of his uh, companions. They're a terrible death. But yet, as we have heard, the blood of the martyrs is the seed ground of Christianity. And so again, they have contributed to the growth of the church, even in Uganda today. And they stand as heroes and martyrs to the Christian people of Uganda today, the church today. In the, in the first reading today, we hear St. Uh, Paul trying to tell um, Timothy, you know, don't worry about uh, trying to be an authority figure. You have the word of God. You have the power of God. You received it from my hands. You are the bishop. He was younger, and he had to uh, shepherd all of these other people who were much older and supposedly wiser than the young bishop. And St. Paul is trying to exhort him, don't, don't be afraid. He says, go forth, preach the word, proclaim the gospel, build the church. He says, you know, and uh, uh, even if you suffer, even if you suffer, as I am suffering myself, because I'm on my way to Rome, and I'm going to be executed as well. He knew that. That would be the end of the, the line for him as, as an apostle of the Lord. So he's actually he's, he's encouraging uh, St. Uh, um, Timothy to continue his good work, even though it is suffering. And in the Gospel today, uh, Jesus is confronted by the Sadducees. Now, the, the, the question they asked Jesus is a false question about the resurrection of uh, whose wife will she be after seven brothers had married her and then the wife died. The poor thing, after seven brothers, seven husbands, uh, she passed away too. But anyhow, it was a false question because they did not believe in the resurrection. And they were hoping that Jesus would respond to that question so that they can ridicule him. They did not believe in the resurrection of the dead. To them, to the Sadducees. Now the Pharisees did believe uh, in afterlife, but the Sadducees did not. That group of the Sanhedrin did not believe in an afterlife. Everything was here and now. God's love, God's graciousness, God's gifts, God's punishment, everything was here. And so it was a false question 
But yet Jesus still responds to it in a different way, saying, you're misled. Clear your minds. There is a resurrection, and there will be celestial beings, like angels in heaven. And he pretty much puts that to a close. So today then, let us who continue to proclaim the kingdom of God, even though we may sometimes hit our thumbs with a hammer and not do the right thing, or sometimes we, we say the wrong things, or we, or we think we're not worthy to continue to proclaim uh, God's goodness and his scriptures and, and, and the Holy Gospel, uh, do it. And if we suffer, so be it. The end of martyrs suffered, Timothy, Paul suffered, Jesus suffered, and so will we. If we suffer for what we do, then there will be success in our work. And I invite you to stand now together. Let us offer our prayer petitions today as we pray for Brian Williams, for whom we offer this holy sacrifice, the comic grand Brian and all the faithful departed. Let happiness and peace in his holy kingdom, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our Holy Father Francis and our Bishop Joseph, and all who lead us in the church, that God may grant them the wisdom and holiness of their office, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all the sick and the suffering, the hungry, the homeless, the homebound, their caregivers, all of those who have been forgotten by society or abused by society or abused by those for whom they trusted, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For an end to the coroner, to the uh, Corona-19 virus, that God may uh, place his healing hand upon this world and bring this terrible disease to an end. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And also that God may send his holy angels to our cities, that they may continue to bring peace, love, prosperity, instead of violence and hatred and destruction. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For your own special needs. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us present these and many more petitions to our Blessed Mother, that she may present them to her Divine Son as we pray. Hail Mary, full of grace, grace the Lord, Lord is with thee. Blessed, blessed are thou amongst women, women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Jesus. Holy Mary, Mary Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now, now and at the hour of our death. Our death. share in the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed you, Lord God of all creations, we're going to have this bread to offer, which earth is given, and human hands are made, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed you, Lord God of all creations, we're going to have this wine to offer, for the divine work of human hands will become our spiritual drink. For God, we ask you to receive us and be pleased with the sacrifice we offer you with humbled and contrite hearts. And Lord, wash away my iniquity and cleanse me from my sins. Pray, my fellow sufferers, for the sake of the gospel, that your sacrifice and mine today will be acceptable to God the Father Almighty. May the Lord accept your your hands for the praise, praise and the glory of his name, for our good and for all the soul of church. We offer your sacrifice, O Lord, humbly praying that as you granted the blessed martyrs grace to die rather than sin, so you may bring us to minister at your altar in dedication to you alone, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Yes. Let us give Lord. thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. Truly right and just, our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For the blood of your blessed martyrs, Charles Awanda and his companions, poured out like Christ's in glory to your name, shows forth your marvelous works by which in our weakness you perfect your power, and on the feeble bestow strength to bear you witness through Christ our Lord. And so with all of the powers of heaven, we too worship you constantly here on earth. And before your majesty without end, we all acclaim, Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord God of hosts, heaven, heaven and earth are full of your glory. glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. 
You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Being holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew falls, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, giving thanks, broke the bread, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, had the disciples saying, Take this all of you and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and proclaim, profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope, Joseph our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Uh, welcome them, Lord, into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all. We pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, St. Joseph, her devoted husband, with St. Charles Lubanga and his companions, and all of the blessed apostles, martyrs, and saints who have pleased you throughout the ages. May we merit to be co heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, our glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. In union with all the holy martyrs, living and deceased, we pray as Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, 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 hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, and grant us peace in our days, and your mercy keep us free from sin, and protect us from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you today. And with Let us share that peace with one another, with our cities in distress, and with the whole world. Lamb of God. Behold the Lamb of God who suffered and died for our sins. Blessed are we today who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof. Only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Let us pray. We have received this divine sacrament, O Lord, as we celebrate the victory of your holy martyrs, Charles of Wanga and his companions. May what help them to endure torment, 
may make us, in the face of our trials, steadfast in faith and in charity, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And Almighty God bless us all. The Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Let us go in the peace and love of Christ. Thanks be to God.